It's almost backyard because, like, we don't have a manager and we don't have PR. and We're not trying to take over the world or anything. We, you know, we're, we're just doing something that, that we like to do and, and that, that filling a need because there is a need for um, Hawaiian music, for women in Hawaiian music, and for families. And we, we feel all of that. We always had a good time, the whole family. And, oh, if, <laughs> and if we didn't have anybody else, it is okay. We enjoyed each other. And nearly every Saturday night, I would come home from my house, which is not far from home, to the main house, to Pomana. And we all congregate there and put mats out in the yard, and we'd all lie around, sing, and do all that. We were all singing. <laughs> is for you to take home. See, this is ready. I had, someone had given us one of these papayas, so I saved the seed and, and this is what we have now. I've always loved the Hawaiian language and always wished that I could speak it. Dad spoke Hawaiian fluently and we didn't. He never taught us, mother never taught us because at that time, well, it was changing and everything was going English. Unless you know the language, you really won't know your Hawaiian-ness. Auntie Ermgard has written 500, 600, 702. Not that many. So many. Pua mana is her song. Pua mana, in my mind, pua meaning flower, and mana meaning that spiritual, wonderful uh, blessing that we get. And Auntie told me when she wrote the song, the whole flower, the inner part of the flower, was her mommy and daddy. The petals were the children. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Farden family doing pua mana. Pua mana. 